Hi guys, this is Tess and Ashley. In this video, we're going to show you things to do when you are visiting one of the world's most popular hotels, the Katla Otanin Arctic Resort in Finland. Also, stick around because at the end of this video, I have some tips and advice for you guys. Before we start, we need to dress appropriately. They provide winter overalls, rubber boots, and blankets. Reindeers are ready, although some of them don't feel like going, but we are so excited. Come on and rise. Back me up. But no touching or no other how disturbing the reindeers. And if they get picture from here, please no flash, so we don't want to spook them. That was an amazing trip into nature. Now it's time to enjoy the traditional warm berry juice and learn Sami culture with the local Sami people here in the Sami village. Old times, uh, Sami people were just hunting the reindeer, so they were the first people arriving in these areas in northern part of Norway, Sweden, Finland, and even in Russia. Every reindeer has an owner, uh, so they have markings in their ears. Everyone uh, who owns the reindeer is having very special way to cut small pieces off from the ear, so you know which ones are your by looking the uh, ears. Now it's time to take you guys to a magical tour of Santa's village and to meet Santa himself. Please come in, I have a really nice fire. Okay. <laughs> now welcome to beautiful Lapland. I am the blacksmith elf for Santa. You can probably tell. First of all, look at all the tools. This is what keeps me busy. I, uh, I kind of help Santa keep everything going. Okay. Now the gold elf, did you hear about the gold elf? Yeah. Yeah, yes. you saw the gold elf's house? Yeah. So the gold elf has one main job, kind of comes in the title. He collects the gold. So this is the gold from the river mixed with the presents from the elf. We combine some of the gold powder with the water from the river. There we go. And after a little bit of mixing, you get liquid gold. And now one of my favorite parts when we mix the liquid gold with the fire. Yeah. What happens is we mix the liquid gold the sparks fly up, they are the presents, and they come up through the chimney, out into the sky, and send the presents flying all around the world. One, 
two, three. That is a little view from the inside, however, the view from the outside is much cooler. It's time to ride the snow tank and explore the winter forest. It was so windy and so cold, so we went back inside the snow tank and continued with our journey. We arrived in the middle of winter forest to get warm in a tent but we decided to walk around first and i don't think it's a good idea so we just decided to go inside
it's time to go back and move on to our next adventure. And they will run. <laughs> and uh, last one, it's this, and this is slow down. This is all the activities we did here in Katsla Otanin Arctic Resort because some of our activities we did it in other places. I have a video of all those places and I included them in the description box below. So if you guys check it out, Katsla Otanin Arctic Resort is very popular around the world. So to stay here is a little expensive and their activities is also expensive your other option for winter activities here in lapland would be tanka avara gold village which is 15 minutes drive from kaksla otanin arctic resort they offer winter activities over there and it's a little cheaper compared to kaksla otanin arctic resort and also dipping into icy water is a must here in Finland. Here in Katsla Otanin Arctic Resort, you have that 
opportunity but it's very expensive it's private and it's around five hundred dollars but i went to another hotel nearby which is 15 minutes drive by car check the link of the video in the description box below for more information over there the cost to swim in the frozen lake is 13 dollars if you are not a hotel guest and also to use the sauna right next to it so it's very affordable and it's such a very nice place you have to keep in mind though that they are only open for swimming in the frozen lake mondays wednesdays and fridays from 3 p.m to 8 p.m so if you have plans to do other activities make sure that you keep that in mind one more thing to consider to maximize your time during your stay here so you can do more activities is to arrive early they will keep your luggage for you while you are enjoying the activities if you are planning to visit during winter they only have around five hours of daylight so most of the activities starts from 9 a.m unless you want to do activities that includes northern light hunting which starts at 8 p.m transportation wise i've been using a taxi to save time it cost me around $40. They do have taxi meter over here and you can also use a credit card if you don't have cash. And they also have buses just in case you prefer to use the bus. I will also post a video of a tour of the Kaksla Otanin Arctic Resort. Link is in the description box below. okay guys bye for now don't forget to subscribe to see more of our adventures and to learn more about tips and travel advice